So when you're looking at that thing you want and you're saying yes to it, you're activating a thought. And law of attraction is responding to that thought and bringing you things that match that. But when you are looking at something that you do not want and you shout no at it, you are actually not pushing it away. Instead, you are activating the very thought of what you do not want and now law of attraction is lining those things up for you also. This is a universe that is based upon attraction. Everything is about attraction. You might be thinking about the past or the present or the future, but whether you're remembering or observing or imagining, still in that process you are activating thought and law of attraction, which is the most powerful law in the universe, is responding to your thought. You live in a reality where there is this buffer of time and truly that serves you. You're really not wanting to be in an environment where your thoughts manifest immediately. The evidence is long in coming and that is really a good thing. We do not encourage that you try to monitor your thoughts. That will sort of make you crazy. There are so many thoughts coming to you from so many different directions about so many different subjects. That's where your emotional guidance system comes in. Your emotions, your emotional guidance system is what helps you to understand what you're thinking. There are only two emotions from our perspective. One feels good and one feels bad. You call them all sorts of different things, but essentially, all of those negative emotions, whether you call it guilt or anger or frustration, all feel much the same. They do not feel good. And all of those are guidance saying that which you are thinking about right now is not in line with what you are really wanting. The one that feels good, that feeling of hope or happiness or love, that good feeling, that positive emotion, is guidance saying that which you are thinking right now is in alignment with what you are wanting. The better you feel, the more in alignment you are. The worse you feel, the more out of alignment you are. What you are doing as you are moving through the variety of your day-to-day -day experience is you are offering thoughts that are literally formulating your future experience. And you can tell by the way you feel if the things that you are moving toward will please you when you get there. Whatever it is you are feeling is a perfect reflection of what is in the process of becoming. What you think and what you feel and what manifests is always a match, every single time, no exception. And when you begin to get the hang of this, when you begin to guide your thoughts based upon the way they feel, and you begin to notice the correlation between what you're feeling and thinking and what's coming back to you, before you know it, you will know that you are the creator of your own reality. And those who are watching from a distance will stand in amazement at the perfect life you live. So we like to say to you that the creative process is a three-step process. Step one is you must ask for what you want. You do not need to use words to ask. In fact, the universe is not even hearing words from you. The universe is responding completely to your thoughts. So then our friends say, something must be going terribly wrong because I know I am asking, so where is my stuff? And we say, you are asking. You are completing step one. You can't help but do that. The universe is answering every time, no exception. But there is another step that you must understand, and it is called step three, which is the receiving step, which means you must bring yourself into alignment with what you're asking for. When you're in alignment with what you want, you feel wonderful. That's what enthusiasm is. That's what joy is. That's what appreciation is. That's what that feeling of passion is. But when you are feeling despair or fear or anger, those are strong indicators that you are not right now in alignment with what you're asking for. And so when you begin to realize that the way you feel is everything and you begin to direct your thoughts based upon how they feel, little by little, 
you can find the feeling place of it and now you are one with it and now it must manifest into your experience. But sometimes it feels like you're stuck because you continue to think the same thoughts over and over again. And so you tend to get the same results over and over again. And the reason is because most people offer the majority of their thought in response to what they are observing. You see, if you're just looking at what is, then you're just thinking about what is. And when you think about what is, law of attraction gives you more of it. And then if you just observe what is, then you're just thinking about what is. And law of attraction gives you more of what is. And then if you just observe, well, we've been over this, haven't we? You have to find a way that you are approaching what is through a different vantage point. As you are fussing about not having enough money, as you are talking to your friend about not having enough money, as you are feeling unhappy about not having enough money, you are actually activating within yourself or continuing the activation of a thought that is very different from the desire that you have launched. What it just comes down to is you just can't want more money and focus upon not enough. Sometimes people will say, those people at work are so negative, or the man I live with is so angry, or my children are so worrisome to me. And we say, you must orient yourself to the best part of those people who surround you. We encourage that you get a notebook and that you make a list of the positive aspects of the people that you spend a lot of time with. There could be someone that you have a terrible experience with, a terrible relationship with. And in the privacy of your own mind, and with quite a bit of work, we will admit, as you focus upon things that you like most, those people will become that mostly to you. And even though you cannot create in their reality, if they are in a mood or an attitude that doesn't match the mood or an attitude that you have about them, they'll zig while you zag. Law of attraction will not put you in the same space together. Your frequencies don't match up. If you knew your potential to feel good, you would ask no one to be different so that you can feel good. You would free yourself of all of that cumbersome impossibility of needing to control the world or control your mate or control your child. You are the only one who creates your reality. For no one else can think for you no one else can do it. It is only you. Every bit of it you. There is only a stream of well-being that flows, you know. It is a stream of pure positive energy. And the universe, all that we know, is abundant with only that. This is a world that is based upon well-being. And well-being dramatically abounds. And when you are allowing that stream to flow in its fullness, you feel very, very good. And when you are pinching it off a bit, you feel not so good. There is only a stream of goodness or well-being which you are allowing or not. And your magnificent emotions are telling you what the mix is, how you're doing in your allowing or your resisting of this connection. Can you feel the difference between having painful arthritis in your hips and feeling fearful about it? or having painful arthritis in your hips and feeling hopeful about it. The difference between fearful and hopeful is the difference between recovery or not. We notice that there are so many people who are living life in a very conditional way. They look out and they see things that are wonderful and they say, yes, we want more of those. We would vote for that. We would support that with our time and energy and money. But then they look out and they see things that they do not want, terrible things that they do not want to live and that they do not want to see others live. And they say, we've got to do something about getting rid of those things. But they don't realize that as they push against the unwanted, they add power to it. In this world, there is a war against poverty and a war against cancer and a war against teenage pregnancy and a war against terrorism and a war against violence and a war against terrorism. We mentioned that there's a war against terrorism and all of this pushing against is only adding to because you can't say no and make it go away. When you shout no, law of attraction is lining that up. People will say, well, shouldn't I focus upon that? That is true. And we say, that is like saying, because someone gave their attention to something they did not want long enough that now it is manifested, I should do it too. 
and we say, we don't really understand that reasoning. You are not here to try to get the world to be just as you want it to be. You are here to create the world around you that you choose, while you allow the world as others choose it to be, to exist also. So let the variety of your reality thrill you as you get to choose from among it those things that you're wanting. And when you see something that you want in your experience, think about it. Find the feeling place of it. Get inside of it. Talk about it and write it down. Write a script about it. Make it your reality by becoming a match to it. And when you see those things that you're not wanting in your experience, do not talk about them. Don't write about them. Don't join groups that worry about them. Don't push against them. Do your best to ignore them. Remove your attention from the things that you do not want while you give your undivided attention to the things that you do want. You may be feeling that it would be easier to be hearing these words if they had come to you the first day of your experience upon this earth. And if we were talking to you on your first day of physical life experience, we would say to you, welcome to planet Earth. There is nothing that you cannot be or do or have. You are a magnificent creator and you are here by your powerful and deliberate wanting to be here. Go forth, giving thought to what you are wanting, attracting life experience to help you decide what you want. And once you have decided, giving thought only unto that. Most of your time will be spent collecting data, data that will help you decide what it is you want. But your real work is to decide what you want and then to focus upon it. For it is through focusing upon what you want that you will attract it. That is the process of creating.